Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you a new product that was recently launched by VMware and it's called vCenter Operations. So let's hop over to our vSphere environment. When I'm going to hosting clusters uh, you will see that vCenter Operations standard comes as a, a virtual appliance. It can be deployed by uh, by an OVF template, just simply import it into your vSphere environment and record the IP address it was given or the IP address you statically configured and then you are able to configure the vCenter operations virtual appliance. Once this operation appliance is configured, it will show up in your solutions and applications and it will present you uh, a nice icon. So before we are going to visit vCenter operations, I want to show you my vSphere environment. So my cluster is doing okay. There is one little problem on ESX 4-L and it has to do with, I think it has to do with memory. Yeah, there's a problem with memory usage. But all the virtual machines are looking fine and I don't see any real problems within my environment. So if you want to really dive into the performance and the health and the workload of your vSphere environment, you can use vCenter Operations. And when I'm uh, going to vCenter Operations, I have two main components, the infrastructure and the analysis dashboard. And when I'm going home to my infrastructure dashboard, you will see three important categories right here. There's one for workloads, there's one for health, and there's one for capacity. So, although my vCenter server was presenting nice figures, when I'm going to workload, there are still some problems. And one of the problems I have is a virtual machine with a workload of one 131 percent so if i'm selecting this virtual machine i can go to the details of this virtual machine and this virtual machine uh, shows that in the last six hours it ran okay it was yellow there was a short period of green and now it's suddenly red and the nice part the nice thing about uh, monitoring with this software is that it doesn't trigger when everything is steady. So for instance, if every Monday there is a peak in your CPU usage, it will learn that every Monday there is such a behavior, but behavior. But when suddenly on Wednesday there is a peak, it will fire an alarm and it will show you uh, different workloads. So in this case, uh, I'm out of memory for this virtual machine and this virtual machine has some trouble with getting the extra memory and it suddenly needs it uh, and it didn't need memory in the last six hours so when i'm going to memory i can see that uh, there is a demand on this virtual machine i'm also able to go to all metrics and all metrics means that every single metric that can be monitored is presented here and things like swap, ballooning, usage, the, the amount of zero memory, the reservation limits, all the metrics are presented here and there are some nice graphics on the right side. So let's go back to infrastructure and then go to home. I think it, it, it takes an amount of time to get used to this user interface before you can use it uh, the right way. It's completely built from JavaScript and you can also visit the same page with uh, an ordinary web browser and it's one of the most awesome uh, web pages uh, I've ever seen. It's, I think it's even better than things uh, that are done with, with Google Google Apps because it's, it looks like a normal application and it's, but it's purely running on the JavaScript. So those guys did a real good job. So uh, the workload is one item. You can also see the health of your environment and you can also see the capacity of your environment. And you have three different views 
regarding your vSphere environment. And you can see all the individual virtual machines right here. So let's take a look at analysis. Analysis enables you to look at your complete vSphere environment and there are some ready to run analyzes that can be done. So let's go to the memory usage and see if there is memory contention. And this is real cool. We see two ESX hosts in the cluster and every virtual machine has an amount of space based on the amount of memory the virtual machine is using. And if one of your virtual machines is using too much or has a problem or is ballooning or swapping, it will show a different color. This is for I.O. usage, this is for the workload. So you can easily identify virtual machines that are constrained. This is a nice one, the workload on the cluster. So there, this virtual machine is constrained and the capacity of this storage is also constrained. So you are easy, you are able to walk through these figures and you can easily identify virtual machines that may be experiencing performance problems or something. So I think it's a great product and you should definitely try it out. It will take some time to learn the user interface and to interpret the figures, but it comes with a real great help file and every single item within this uh, vCenter operation dashboard is explained very well. So dive into it and have fun. Eric Sloof is signing off. Bye bye.